Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Bombbox family's second video of the Christmas Vlogmas. We left off last time on a cliffhanger on how our Christmas was life changing. that our first Christmas was life-changing and we just want to start from the beginning so we met in the summer of 2015 and our first date was a disaster complete disaster it wasn't my fault though <laughs> no it wasn't. it wasn't my fault at all it was, I was both of our friends Nope, I was an innocent bystander. <laughs> anyway, and anyway. You can probably get into that more later, but I was totally innocent. That'll, that'll be another video. <laughs> so anyway, um, we'll, we'll just skip that part. Um, she wants to skip it. I, I want to skip it so we can keep it straight to the Christmas thing. So anyway, um, so yeah, so our first day was the disaster and the next few months leading up to Christmas was very interesting and lots of things were going on during that time um, we weren't really quite sure where our relationship was going to go and then uh, that Christmas we actually ended up finding out kind of where everything was gonna go I guess <laughs> so so that Christmas um, in 2015, our very first Christmas, we ended up getting the best Christmas gift you could possibly ever ask for. And what was? What was it? You know what it was. No. Okay. <laughs> what it was, was I found out that I was pregnant with Connor and that definitely changed every Christmas from there and it'll just be every Christmas for the rest of our lives. Well, we didn't know it was Connor at first. <laughs> yeah, we didn't know it was Connor, but we, we just, knew we that just it, knew was it was a baby. Something. <laughs> it was also something growing inside her. Yeah, so that definitely um, changed a lot of things and that's how we became a family and now we have... It was the beginning of our family, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, um, and now we have Everly, so that was definitely life-changing in my opinion so um, Michael wasn't quite sure what it was gonna be like to be a dad so I think he was extremely nervous I had four kids already so for me it just seemed quite natural and I wasn't nervous about having another kid but Michael was scared he wasn't sure what it was gonna be like well correct <laughs> it's it's still interesting to go back and think about that point so long ago it's been about three years now, and well, four. Right? Yeah, four. About four. Uh -huh. You got to add the nine months. So Connor's three plus nine months. So <laughs> it's all about four years, right? Yeah. Um, that was quite, quite the surprise, and I think like any father to be is, it's very nerve wracking. And you try to think, uh, are you ready? Do you know what's going to happen? Do you know how it's going to change your life? And, Obviously, you don't ever know the answer to those questions, but you try to prepare yourself and figure it out. I can tell you, uh, almost four years after the news, uh, when we first found out, it's not a problem at all. No, it's not. He's like the best thing that's ever happened to us. Well, besides lots of other things, but he's, sure. he's our fun. He's our fun kid. He's wild. He's Crazy Connor. That's what we call him, Crazy Connor. He's crazy, but if you saw how Michael was with Connor, it's just like the best 
father-son relationship he could possibly She's imagine. a little biased. I mean, she is married to me, so she has to give a good answer. No. So she's not going to say anything bad, at least with me in front of her. No, that's not true. So maybe we're going to see confessions of a 40-year-old <laughs> here in a few years when she decides to tell you the real truth. Yeah, I don't want to agree with that. I think that I'm not biased and that I think that you are a great dad. Well, thank you. <laughs> I think you're still a great mom. Thank you. Yeah, thank you sure, very, sure. very much. Not a problem. <laughs> Do you want to share what it was like, like being a dad? How much you like being a dad? How much I like being a dad? Yeah. Well, it's it has ups and downs, right? Of course. Um, it's it's funny because you look at the memes you see online, and they're all true, every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the ones I can think about that sticks out of my head the most for the time being is being a parent is knowing at what noise at two o'clock in the morning is worth getting up for. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a big part of being a dad because <laughs> naturally, you know, it's the dad's job to protect the family. So if the wife hears the noise, it wakes up the dad and the dad has to go figure it out. And it's not like I want to go get stabbed or something, but it's <laughs> it's just my job. So, <laughs> um, but it, it's 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 pretty it's pretty rad. Um, the the shopping is never fun, even if you're uh, looking even if you're looking forward to having the baby. I don't look forward to the shopping. I don't think anyone ever does. That's probably <laughs> the only good thing about Babies Are Us closing is that I don't have to go shopping as much. But <laughs> then again, that's really sad because they had a lot of good stuff there and it eliminated multiple trips at different stores. So <laughs> maybe that was not a good thing in the long run, but I mean, I was definitely depressed uh, trying to find a bouncer for baby Everly now. That's true. And not be able to go to a single place to find it. Yeah, we went to but a bunch we of places. at quite a few places online and it's just not quite the same as what it used yeah. to be. We're trying um, to get her one for Christmas and it just, We've gone to like a million different stores, so we're just gonna have to get one online. At least it's three fine. different stores. Yeah. She says a million, at least three of them. Yeah, it was at least three, anyway. Right. But being dad's um, pretty awesome. I I was very lucky because this one over here had a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. So I kind of relied on her for uh, quite a bit of it. And I think it worked out rather well. I think so too. Might have been the best Christmas ever. It was very interesting. Yeah, <laughs> it was. It, it was very good. Very good. It was very good. Yep, very very good. Well, that's our story of our very first Christmas life changing experience. That's it. That was that was quick. Yeah, that was that was just quick, just straight to the point. Like, hey, you know, we mm. got pregnant, had a baby, now we have, you know, a bunch of other kids running around here. Yeah. <laughs> don't even notice. We don't even notice. Don't even notice. There's too many of them. I count them though, every, everywhere we go. <laughs> That's good. Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. All right. Well, we wanted to say thank you very much. And we also wanted to say Merry Christmas to everybody from the Baumbach family. And, and we happy hope, holidays as well. Yeah, and happy holidays. And we hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more, then definitely check us out on our social media platforms. See you later. Goodbye. Bye.